We're going to work on an Alex problem that deals with calculating equilibrium composition from an equilibrium constant. We can write that equilibrium constant expression from a balanced equation where k is equal to the concentration of the products raised to the power of the coefficient over the concentration of the reactants raised to the power of their coefficients. We're going to rearrange our k equilibrium constant expression into the quadratic equation in standard form. And from there, we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve for our unknown. Let's take a look at an example. In this example, suppose a 500 milliliter flask is filled with 0.2 moles of Cl2, 1.9 moles of CHCl3, and 0.7 moles of CCl4. They've given us a, an equation, a reaction, and we have to make sure it's balanced, which it is. And they also give us the equilibrium constant, 9.32, and they want us to calculate the equilibrium molarity of HCl, making sure that we round our answer to two decimal places. As always, I'd like to make sure that we have our given information. So we have a balanced uh, reaction. They also give us K. And they give us some information for the initial concentrations. So concentration of Cl2 is just molarity, which is moles over liters. And we can go ahead and solve for Cl2 concentration. They also give us information for concentration of CHCl3. And for CCL4. All right, so we have initial concentrations. The question is for the equilibrium concentration of HCl. So we have to set up an ice table. So we're going to have the reaction. And we're going to describe the initial concentrations, the change it undergoes uh, to reach equilibrium, and then the equilibrium concentrations. We just determined the initial concentrations. So the initial concentration for Cl2 is 0 0.4. Uh, the initial concentration for CHCl3 is 3.8. They don't give us any information for the initial concentration of HCl, so we can go ahead and assume that's zero. And for CCl4, it's 1.4. Now for the change, uh, we're going to either plus or minus the coefficient times x, the change. It doesn't matter which side you're calling plus and which side you're calling minus, as long as the reactants all have the same sign and the products have all the same sign. Unless they give us any other clue, it really doesn't matter. So for me, I like to always start with my reactants having a plus change. So the coefficient uh, for Cl2 is 1, so that's going to be a plus 1x. The coefficient for CHCl3 is 1, so that's going to be a plus x. The coefficient for HCl is 1, but this is on the product side, so we're going to say minus 1x. And CCl4 is going to be a minus x. The concentration for equilibrium at equilibrium is going to be the initial plus the change. So 0 0.4 plus x, 3.8 plus x, and 0 minus x is just a minus x, and 1.4 minus x. So we've got our ice table. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and write the equilibrium constant expression, which is K equals the concentration of the products raised to the power of the coefficient over the concentration of the reactants raised to the power of its coefficient. We have some numbers, so let's go ahead and plug in what we do know. K is 9.32. HCl's concentration at equilibrium is minus x. CCl4 is 1.4 minus x over uh, 
All right, we've plugged in some of our numbers. Let's go ahead and try to clean this up. We're going to, for the numerator, we're going to distribute that negative x to every part of the parentheses. And for the denominator, we're going to use FOIL to factor out the denominator. Once we do that, we have something like this. The next thing we want to do is set this equation to zero so we can get it into uh, standard form. The way we want to do that is multiply both sides by the denominator. So I'm going to distribute the 9.32 to every part of the parentheses. Now remember, our goal is to rearrange this equation so that it equals to zero. So I'm going to start moving terms all to one side. I'm going to start off with subtracting minus x squared on both sides. Remember, we can only add and subtract like terms. Now I'm going to add 1.4x on both sides. All right, so I've got my equation set to zero. Now I can go ahead and use the quadratic formula to solve for my x. Remember that the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. I can use a calculator. Uh, my a is going to be 8.32. My b is 40.32. 544, and my C is 14.1664. Once I plug this into the calculator, I get two answers. X equals negative 0 0.378863, and X equals negative 4.4942. Now, we got to double check that one of these X's uh, may not apply. So you want to go back to your ice table. And if we use x equals negative 4.4942, that would give us one of the components as a negative concentration. So that would not be possible. So we can't have any negative concentration. So x equals negative 4.4942 is not possible. So we're going to have to use the other x. And remember the question, we're trying to find the equilibrium concentration of HCl. At equilibrium, the concentration of HCl is 0 minus x. So 0 minus a negative 0 0.378863. And our final answer needs to have two decimal places. So the concentration of HCl at equilibrium is 0 0.38 molar. All right, let's take a look at another example. In this example, suppose a 500 milliliter flask is filled with 1.3 moles of H2 and 0.7 moles of Cl2. The following reaction becomes possible, and we examine this reaction, and it is balanced. And they give us the equilibrium constant uh, for this reaction is 4.42. And we are to calculate the equilibrium molarity of H2 and round our answer to two decimal places. So we have a balanced equation. We also have our K, and they give us some information for initial concentrations. So our initial concentrations are going to be H2. Concentration is just molarity, which is moles over liters.
and they give us information for CL2. Since they are asking about the equilibrium concentration and they've given us the initial concentrations, we're going to have to set up an ice table. Okay, so we have initial concentrations of H2, which is 2.6. We have initial concentration for Cl2 which is 1.4, and they don't give us any information on HCl, so we can go ahead and assume that's zero. The change that this reaction undergoes to reach equilibrium is always going to be a plus or minus the coefficient times x, and we're going to leave our signs the same on each side. So the reactants will have its own sign, and the products will have its own sign. So for the change for H2, the coefficient is 1, so it's going to be plus x. The coefficient for Cl2 is plus x, and the coefficient for HCl is 2, and this is on the product side, so this is going to be a minus 2x. For equilibrium concentrations, we're just going to add initial plus the change. And 0 minus 2x is just minus 2x. Okay, I'm going to write the equilibrium constant expression. K equals the concentration of the products raised to the power of the coefficient time, uh, over the concentration of the reactants raised to the power of its coefficients. I know some of these numbers, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in. All right, next thing I want to do is clean up. On the numerator, uh, it's negative 2x squared, so it's just negative 2x times negative 2x. And on the denominator, we're going to have to use FOIL to factor that out. And I'll get something like this. Remember, we're trying to rearrange this equation so that it fits the standard form, so we can use the quadratic equation. So I'm going to get rid of my denominator by multiplying on both sides. I'm going to distribute the 4.42 to every part of the parentheses. Okay, I want to set this equation to 0, so I'm going to get all my terms on one side. I'm going to go ahead and subtract the 4x squared from both sides. I can only add and subtract like terms. All right, so now that I have my equation set to 0, I can go ahead and use the quadratic formula, which is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So my a equals 0 0.42, my b equals 17.68, and my c equals 16.0888. I can use a calculator for this. So I'm going to get two answers for x. x equals negative 0 0.930524 and x equals negative 41.1647. So we're going to examine our ice table to make sure that we don't have any negative concentrations. So if we take a look at our ice table, if we plug in x equals negative 41.1647, that would give us at least one of the components, if not more, a negative concentration. So that one won't be possible to use. So this negative 41.1647 is not a possible answer for us. So we're going to have to use x equals negative 0 0.930524. They're asking us to calculate the concentration of H2 at equilibrium. At equilibrium, uh, the concentration of H2 is 2.6 plus x.
and we're going to round our final answer to two decimal places. So the concentration of H2 is 1.67 molar. Good luck and keep practicing.